The Kenya National Union of Teachers has officially joined KOTU. The decision was arrived at during Canute's 61st Annual Delegates Conference held last year, Secretary General Wilson Soshin said. The move will unite all workers in the country, he said. We are here to endeavor to champion for a sustainable work environment. Since Canute has not had an ideal labor center for years where it can push for labor rights, the union will use the ready support of KOTU, he said. We are here to improve the welfare of workers through dialogue and nobody should fear or debate why we have come together. Canute was a founder member of Cotter in 1965 but left in 1966. In 2014, Trade Union Congress Duke was launched. Soshin was among the brains behind it. Canute pulled out of Trade Union Congress Duke in August 2018 following differences in labor issues. Canute had hosted the Congress on its premises since 2014 and threatened to slap it with rent arrears. Duke had earlier raised concerns about Soshin's close association with Cotter and had written a show cause letter in April 2018. Soshin, who was the Duke boss, was suspended in August 2018. The government's support for the Congress was seen as a way to weaken the monopoly of Kotu and relinquish control it had to billions of shillings contributed by workers. On Thursday, Soshin said Canute has to secure rights of workers freely without duress. We have not had any pressure from anyone and we owe nobody an apology and if somebody is not happy, look for a swimming pool and dive into it, he said. We are here to stay forever and ever. He said trade unions are a major component of the system of modern industrial relations in any nation. Each having their own set of objectives or goals according to their constitutional constitutions and having its own strategy to achieve goals, he said. Soshin said the members of the labor unions should try their best to stem any threat of rivalry in labor unions. We have come willfully here to speak on behalf of the workers and we are here to strengthen the spirit of labor unions in 2019. He said. He said after the partnership, the unions will continue pushing for the workers' agenda with more vigor.